In this video, we're going to try and decide if these two functions are inverses. We have f of x equals 3x minus 2 over 4x plus 1, and g of x equals x plus 2 over, over 3 minus 4x. And while these functions have a lot of similar components, it's hard to tell if one really undoes the operation of the other. Are they really inverses? So we have to... the only true way to find an out if two functions are inverses is to calculate their composition, f of g of x, or maybe a better way to say it would be f of g of x. So we have g of x, that's this x plus 2 over 3 minus 4x, that is going to be inside the f function. So x plus 2 over 3 minus 4x. That means take this big, ugly fraction and replace each of the variables in f with this big, ugly fraction. So we've got the variable on here twice. Both of those variables are going to be replaced with this fraction. So we have 3x, which is x plus 2 over 3 minus 4x, minus 2, all over 4x, which is x plus 2 over 3 minus 4x, plus 1. To make this a little easier to work with and simplify, we want it to simplify to x. If it simplifies to x, they're inverses. Let's remember that that 3 is 3 over 1 and 4 is 4 over 1, and we can multiply fractions straight across. So let's distribute the 3 and distribute the 1, distribute the 4, and distribute the 1. That's going to give us 3x plus 6 over 3 minus 4x minus 2 all over 4x plus 8 over 3 minus 4x plus 1. I'm going to scroll a bit to give me a little more space to work, because this problem is turning out to be a doozy. What we have is we have fractions inside of fractions, is what makes this seem really complicated. We call these complex or compound fractions, and we found out in an earlier video, which you can go back and review if you'd like, that we can clear the compound fraction by multiplying each term in the numerator and denominator by the least common denominator of the little fractions. And the only little fraction denominator we have is 3 minus 4x. So let's multiply everything by 3 minus 4x. 3 minus 4x, left and right, top and bottom, 3 minus 4x, 3 minus 4x. Because when we do that, the 3 minus 4x's divide out on the left side, giving us just 3x plus 6. Distribute the negative 2, negative 6x plus 8x over 4x plus 8, plus distribute the positive 1, 3 minus 4x. Let me move that over to buy me some space. Oh, it's not going to let me move it over. Okay, we'll scroll a little more. Let's see what that does for us. What can we simplify here? 3x minus 6x plus 8x. Let's see, 3x minus 6x is negative 3, plus 8 is 5x. Whoops, I got something wrong here. Oh, you know what I did wrong? Negative 2 times 3 is not negative 6x, it's just negative 6. Let's take the x off of there. Negative 2 times 3 is just 6. Sorry about that. So now when we combine like terms, 3x plus 8x is 11x. 6 minus 6 is 0. Over 4x minus 4x is 0. And 8 plus 3 is 11. And lo and behold, the 11's reduce out, and the answer we get is just x. When the composition simplifies to just x, we say, yes, the functions are inverses. The way we decided that is we calculated f of g of x.